In the next few minutes, I'm going to tell you how you can live in Croatia while working remotely for one year with their new digital nomad visa. I'm Brittany from Nomads Embassy, the world's first embassy for digital nomads, where we simplify a lifestyle of working remotely while traveling the world full time. With Croatia's new digital nomad visa, remote workers such as employees and freelancers and business owners can come and live in this beautiful Mediterranean country for one year. Now, it's important to note that this digital nomad visa is not renewable. So after your visa expires, you must leave the country for 90 days. However, you can come back and reapply for a new digital nomad visa. Now, what are the requirements? What makes you eligible for this visa? Firstly, you need a passport that is valid for at least three months after your visa expires. You need to have a remote job outside of Croatia. So you can be employed by a foreign company, you can be a freelancer with clients outside of Croatia, or you can be a business owner with a business established outside of Croatia. There is an income requirement as well. You must make at least 16,907 kuna. So that translates to about $2,658 per month. Or you must have at least $31,893 in a bank account while you apply for the visa. You must also have health insurance that covers any incidents while in Croatia. You'll need a clean criminal background and a temporary address for while you are staying in Croatia. So this could be a residential lease, an Airbnb booking, or if you own property in Croatia, you need the proof of sale and ownership. So if you meet all of these requirements, how do you apply for the visa? There are actually three ways to apply. You can apply online, you can apply at a local embassy or consulate, or you can actually apply for the visa while you're already in Croatia. No matter how you apply, you'll need the following documents. A copy of your passport. You'll need a proof of purpose. So this is proof of your remote job through an employment contract, through client contracts if you're a freelancer, or proof that you own a business outside of Croatia. You'll also need proof of income. And so this is in the form of certified bank statements from the last three months before you apply for your visa a certified criminal background check from your country of residence, your temporary address while in Croatia where you will be staying, and your completed application. So you can find this application online at a Croatian embassy's website. Again, this application can be submitted online through their immigration portal, in person at an embassy or consulate, or if you're already in Croatia and wish to apply for the visa, go to a local police station. There's a little more to the process of getting your digital nomad visa in Croatia. So once it's approved, you then have to register your address in Croatia. If you're already in Croatia, when your visa is approved, you have 30 days to register your address. However, if you're coming to Croatia, you have three days after entering Croatia. To do this, you have to go to the local police station near your residence and fill out some forms. Also make sure to bring your residential lease agreement or proof of ownership or your Airbnb booking. Once you've registered your address, you then need a biometric residence card. To do this, you'll go to your local police station again with a Croatian passport-sized photo. So this is measures at 30 by 35 millimeters. It's really best to get these photos done while in Croatia. They cost about $15. You'll also need to bring all of the receipts that you have paid for your visa, for your application, and for registering your residence. During this visit, you will have your fingerprints taken and you'll be given a card. Do not lose this card. This is temporary and you will then go back in about three weeks to get your official residency card. So do not lose this card, it's very important. And once you have your temporary residence permit, everything is done. You can enjoy the next year living in the beautiful country of Croatia. So I just gave you a lot of information. To make it even easier for you, I wrote an entire article with a step-by-step -step process of how to apply for the digital nomad visa at nomadsembassy.com. You can give it a full read at the link included in our description. 
In this article, you will also find a form where you can request a consultation with professional immigration lawyers. They will help you open a bank account, they'll help you get your tax ID number, they'll even help you submit your application. So it's a seamless and easy process. I hope to see you in Croatia. Happy nomading.